Well, Sevil Nikayalova is a member of Azerbaijan's parliament. She joins us now from Baku. Thanks so much for being with us. A twofold question for you. Nicole Pashinyan sees no diplomatic solution, but first, what does Azerbaijan uh, actually see? And what are you expecting as well then from the foreign minister's meeting that is likely to happen with the U.S. Secretary of State? Uh, actually, since the very beginning of uh, armed clashes uh, in the line of contact where Armenia attacked Azerbaijani, um, as Azerbaijani regions, uh, so we were sure that Armenia is not a peace side because, uh, you know, for, of, over the past uh, 30 years, we sit as Azerbaijan at the table of talks with different presidents of Armenia representing different periods of uh, um, Armenia's uh uh, sover sovereign uh, Armenia, uh, but uh, we, we haven't uh, uh, come to any agreement with uh, Armenian leadership because uh, their position was clear to keep under control, to keep under occupation the Azerbaijani lands. And the last attacks, I've numerous states said, uh, uh, has the only purpose just to enlarge the occupied territory and continue their aggressive uh, policy. So uh, as as you see, despite the ceasefires that we achieved uh, for humanitarian purposes with Armenia on the 10th of October, and again a couple of days ago, uh, didn't yield any fruit. Armenia continues uh, uh, violating the ceasefire. Right. It is attacked. The Bajani regions, and uh, now Pashinyan's uh, statement. He says that there is no diplomatic solution uh, to the conflict, and in, even in this case, uh, when uh, the Bajani army dominates in the battlefield, and when in this case, when Armenian uh, Prime Minister well uh, realizes that Armenian army is actually losing the uh, the battle, the war again, he sees no no peace, uh, no diplomatic okay. way out from the uh, situation. Right. As to the meeting of uh, the uh, foreign ministers, I think uh, the, the Armenian's, pos Armenian's position remains unchanged. And if the head of the government says that there is no diplomatic uh, solution, then why to have this diplomatic meeting? Well, I think the, uh, at least as far as Azerbaijan is concerned, they will certainly hope that the... Uh, Secretary of State will put pressure, do pressure on Armenia to come back to the table and actually abide by a ceasefire and, and go through the diplomatic channels to end this crisis. But if that doesn't happen, you seem to, to not have a whole lot of confidence in it. Um, and the, the confrontation continues this way on a military level. Uh, what do you see happening exactly? I mean, how bad could the loss really be? And then what's the end game? Um, you know, the the, um, the only solution to the conflict remains one way. Armenia should withdraw its occupant uh, army from the Azerbaijani territory. As Mr. President, uh, the, uh, Ilham Aliyev stated numerously, so we have only one condition, we have only one principle uh, to come to the end of the conflict. The Armenia should withdraw from the occupied land. Otherwise, no diplomatic solution, no diplomatic talks, no diplomatic efforts will give any uh, fruit. So, uh, for now, when uh, war continues, when the battle is hit, uh, we think that Armenia should sink twice over its face because. Uh, now, the um, Armenian uh, government uh, must understand that this way leads nowhere, and Armenia is um, on the threshold of a big loss. Okay. Um, as, to, uh, as to the meeting with it, which, we are, which uh, the ministers are having in the United States, I think that uh, the international community will continue uh, calling the sides to peace and calling the sides to peace talks, uh, calling the sides to adhere to ceasefire, okay. but it doesn't mean the resolution of the conflict. Savil Mikhailova, thank you so much for joining us there from Baku. We appreciate it.